Hi there. Coming to you this weekend from a beach in southern Thailand. I'm here with my good friend Matthew C. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, in fact, we're going to be making uh, a mocktail. And uh, what this is all about, this is uh, in anticipation of our new line of taste programs. And so we believe, uh, I have a personal belief that when you uh, go on a tour, um, the food and beverages that you enjoy along the way are equally as important as all the other sites. In some cases, they're even more important. And that's why uh, we've decided, decided to launch a whole new range of tours. Matthew is going to be one of our hosts. Uh, and we've got some great things coming up, which I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, early in the new year as we release these programs. And in the meantime, uh, Matt is a celebrated restaurateur from Toronto uh, and known also for his uh, amazing cocktails and mocktails and because so often we attend these events and it's always about uh, wine and beer and alcoholic beverages so we thought we'd like to uh, add something different so that we can uh, have our members be able to enjoy something non-alcoholic once in a while. So uh, Matt, uh, I'm yes, glad sir. to have you with me here yeah, in Thailand. Yeah, thanks for having me man, it's Thailand. <laughs> what a good time. Yeah, what a good time, indeed, what a good time. Indeed. Hey guys, uh, good to have you guys here uh, working on a couple mocktails. And uh, one of the most important things I thought in producing these mocktails that were they were tied to the destinations. Uh, in this case, we have uh, some very Thai flavors, uh, galangal, which is Thai ginger. We have kaffir lime leaves. Uh, we have some uh, uh, melon juice as well, and uh, fresh lime juice, and uh, very simple cocktail uh, turned into a syrup, fresh lime, fresh melon. Uh, in this case, we have this uh, ginger kaffir or this Galangal Kaffir uh, syrup, which is about some ounces here, some fresh lime for uh, added acidity, some uh, freshly juiced cantaloupe, or pardon me, melon juice. I'm gonna do this again. And we're just eyeballing this. We're looking at about a fair measure because it's a long cocktail. Loaded with some ice. It's very important that Discard this excess water. Give it a proper shake, don't be shy. Gotta get it in the mix. And in this case, we've chilled the glasses with some ice, so make sure that. Uh, Get rid of that excess water that melts in this hot, hot Copenhagen heat. And uh, for a little aesthetic touch, we have here a little kefir and orchid here. Very simple, simple garnish orange or you can use a little Thai tangerine as well uh, and then uh, for a little bit of kick this is like an optional optional situation here it's a little Thai spice on the orange and flip it around do the same and there we go guys very very refreshing long fruity cocktail. Wow, Matthew, these things look really amazing. I, I can't wait to try it. Is there anything I need to do? Is there a way to... Uh, yeah, just a little garnish. It's a little functional. So we got uh, orange and then some Thai spice. You literally just bite it like uh, you would a lime yeah. and not the flesh itself, but the ah. juice. And so like a tequila shot. Like a tequila shot. <laughs> that yes, sounds sir. good. All yes, right, sir. let's try it out. Mmm. Get that spice. Mmm. Keeps you chasing for this. Wow, that's amazing. Cheers. Cheers, amigo. Thanks very much. That's that's really terrific. So this is our new signature cocktail. Uh, we're going to be making a series of these over the next several months. We haven't named it yet, though. So I'm putting it out to you, to our members, to uh, come up with a name for this. A refreshing, non-alcoholic beverage that you could serve at home. We're certainly going to serve it at some of our upcoming events. So if you've got an interesting name for it, uh, by next week's newsletter, we'll, uh, we'll get a poll for who comes up with the best name, all you need to do is send an email to either Veronica or me, and we will decide which name is the best, and we will uh, name the, uh, mention the member in next week's newsletter. 
And in the meantime, Matthew, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, I know I certainly will, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking forward to drinking a yes, few sir. more of these little puppies. Yes, sir. All right. And signing off for this week.